So my name is Patrick Kiernan, and originally, originally, I'm from Nuremberg, Germany. One of my first memories is actually sort of, it's like a sad, embarrassing story. I was five years old, and my mom was concerned I was gay because I blinked too much. So she took me to the pediatrician, and she asked the pediatrician if I was gay. And of course, I can't remember the specifics because it was so long ago, but he made some comment of, I don't know, and as a five-year-old, I didn't know what gay was, but I was at the doctor, so it had to have been something bad. So I went home, and I cut my eyelashes off. So I was the oldest child. I was a boy. My dad was, he went to states for wrestling. He was the captain of the football team. He was like all-star baseball player, and I played the bass clarinet in the marching band. Um, I did not live up to his expectations of what a son was. He used to always say, marching man's for girls and faggots. And I never, it hurt me, but at the same time, you know, I didn't know, I didn't think that it was anything wrong that I liked it so much. At the same time, I never classified myself as being gay because I loved it. I just, it was, um, in a lot of ways, I just wasn't that son that he wanted me to be. And stepping outside of the, uh, the immediate family was the best thing emotionally for everybody involved. So I was sent away to live with my lesbian aunts in Pittsburgh. Um, I sort of used them as the platform to dive into the gay community and I don't think I would be who I am today if that didn't happen. I'm so grateful for that change because it's that's what I use to sort of step into me. I actually haven't spoken to my biological parents, so it's been about 10 years, but there was, when I was engaged to my boyfriend, or my ex-fiance, whatever he is, um, I got this letter out of nowhere, and you know, she just said, you know, I'm happy for you, you know, we'll never be a family again, but I wish you well, and it was sort of a bittersweet letter, um, it was one of those things where there was almost like a sense of relief through the acceptance, um, but there was a little bit of a heartbreak that, um, like she was never going to be my mom again.